now in the previous section we learned about the ungrouped data and this table is related to this ungrouped data in this table we have written the frequency of each and every element which is present in the data but sometimes when the data is very large or it contains lot of elements like it has 34 cities what if it was 34000 cities then in such a case it is not advisable to write the frequency of each and every element rather it is more convenient to form the groups now when we form that forming formation of the groups is known as the grouping of the data or i can say that that data in which groups are formed is known as grouped data now group data can be represented in two ways one is inclusive way and other is exclusive way and these ways are also known as grouped frequency distribution table now before we learn into depth that what is an inclusive and what is exclusive uh, first let us discuss about what is class intervals class intervals are actually the groups into which the raw data is con condensed for example if you look at this table the exclusive frequency distribution table what are the class intervals we have condensed this data into three groups 1 to 5 5 to 10 and 10 to 15 now if you look in the inclusive table we have made different intervals 1 to 5 6 to 10 and 11 to 15 now if you compare these two tables with this tables this is a more condensed form and but this is a more expanded form i would rather say so that means whenever our data is large this method of group grouping of the data is preferred over the ungrouping of the data now we'll discuss in detail about the terms which are related to the grouping of the data 